Hey there, bestie viewers. Have you ever wondered about the mysterious clicking sound in your house? Don't worry, your place isn't haunted, but there is still a problem. You have termites. Termites are the most harmful of all pests and can prove to be highly expensive. They can eat up your house if you don't get rid of them in time. In today's video, we'll discuss effective ways to kill termites without spending too much on professional services. Use one or a combination of these methods for better results. Can direct chemical treatment help? What about boric acid? We'll talk about all of this and more. The fact that a termite infestation is difficult to detect makes it 10 times worse. But wait, do you even know how termites infest your house in the first place? Well, they come through the earth or the air. These pests feed on cellulose, an organic fiber element found in wood and plants. Termites cost 40 billion in yearly losses worldwide. Pest control and damage restoration surpasses 2 billion a year in the United States alone. Deal with termite infestation by using diatomaceous earth. This is a completely non-toxic and natural pest control option. Diatomaceous earth is basically fossilized remains of small aquatic creatures known as diatoms. The molecular structure of diatomaceous earth resembles microscopic razor blades with termites. Their waxy exoskeletons are sliced and diced, leaving them vulnerable to dehydration and death. To apply this technique, you need to place the product in a suitable powder duster. Now, create a barrier around termite-exposed wood and insulation in your basement or attic. If you're using it outside, you'll have to reapply it every time it rains. Use it every few days if you live in a humid climate. You can also use diatomaceous earth on your garden soil. This is a highly cost-effective option to deal with termite infestation, but it works only on above-ground and exposed termites. You won't be able to get rid of the entire termite colony. Did you know that boric acid can be a great option to treat termite infestation? If you're looking for a mix of pesticides and natural remedies, boric acid can be the best solution. Powdered boric acid affects the digestive and metabolic systems of most insects, including termites. A termite exposed to boric acid might die in three to seven days after coming in contact with this. While it isn't a natural treatment, it's way less toxic than harsh pesticides. Also known as borax, this product is easily accessible as a powder. Visit your local hardware store to get some. Use boric acid as a powder or a solution to treat a termite infestation. Place boric acid in a high-quality powder duster and spray it on the affected areas, such as cracks or crevices. You can use this directly on the termite colony both inside and outside your home. Dilute boric acid with water to treat your home's wooden surfaces. You can also use pre-treated wood during construction. This way, it protects your surfaces and furniture. Pre-treated wood is cured with borate solution, so it infuses into the wood. Also, you can prepare a borate solution at home and use it in post-construction. But this may leave the inside of the wood vulnerable to termites owing to a lack of penetration. Dissolve one teaspoon of boric acid in 240 milligrams of warm water to make your borate solution. Spray the solution over the infected soil or wooden surfaces. Make sure you're not using the powder or solution on surfaces where children or animals can touch it. The method is quite simple and cheap, but boric acid doesn't stay around for very long. You'll have to use it again and again for the right results. It's quite unlikely you'll get rid of an entire termite colony using only this technique. You can also consider poisoned bait to get rid of termites forever. The options from a minute ago can be too extreme for some people for multiple reasons. For one, they may not consider their termite infestation to be severe, or they may be uncomfortable with pesticides being sprayed around their property. If this is the case, poisoned bait is the best recommendation. You won't need to spray pesticides around your house. The bait will attract hunting termites, who will successfully spread the poison throughout the colony. Several termite baiting and detection systems are readily available for you in the market. Place the bait pegs on the ground around the perimeter of the infested area. Determine the amount of bait you'll require for your property. Draw a sketch of your home and mark places that are affected by termite infestation. Now place the bait in the designated areas around your property. Bait should be spaced two to three feet apart. Make sure you check if the termites are caught in the stakes regularly. Also, if you find an infested stake, 
replace it with an active stake and set at least three other stakes within a foot of it. Make sure you replace or remove all stakes every year. There's a good chance the poison will wipe out the entire termite colony. This method is way less expensive. Surprisingly, experts also use bait systems. The technique works amazingly against underground termites. The unfortunate part is that if your location gets lots of rain or worms, it could cause the stakes to emerge. The system might not work. Pesticide exposure may also be a danger to your health, so use it wisely. Not your thing? Try direct chemical treatment. While the poisoned bait treatment can be highly successful on termites outside of your home, they are ineffective on the inside. If you discover termites in a gap in your wall, attic, or rafters, you need to act quickly to eliminate them. Direct chemicals can be better for this. You can use a dry foam formula rather than a spray to get rid of harmful termites. The nozzle will allow you to spray foam into hard-to-reach cracks and cavities where the termites may be hiding. The expanding foam will kill them. It's unscented, which is a big plus for indoor use. After application, the foam will slowly dissolve, leaving an undetectable residue that will poison you. This residue is expected to stay for at least a month. Look for termites in voids and crevices. Insert the nozzle of the can into the hole and spray. Make sure you protect your hands and eyes with gloves and goggles. Reseal the opening if necessary. You can reapply the foam after 30 days. This is a very cost-effective and time-efficient method to deal with termite infestation. It's effective against subterranean as well as dry wood termites. Also, a single application might last up to a month. Unfortunately, there's a small chance of wiping out the entire colony by using this treatment. Fipronol, a chemical found in these foams, can be bad for your health if you accidentally ingest it. Consider using nematodes. If you're looking for a natural way to get rid of termites, nematodes can be the treatment for you. Chemicals are incredibly effective, but if your termite problem is small or you're more interested in prevention than the cure, this natural method is an excellent alternative. Beneficial nematodes are tiny roundworms that eat the insects damaging humans. These include termites. I know what you're wondering, and don't worry, these worms are completely harmless to people. When helpful nematodes come in contact with termites or other dangerous insects, they break into their bodies and begin feasting. In the process, nematodes discharge germs into the host's intestines, causing blood poisoning and death. The worms go on to their next prey after the host has died and been digested. You can use Dr. Fye's scan mask live beneficial nematodes. One package can contain 10 million beneficial nematodes. That's more than enough to treat a 200 square foot area. To begin, fill the scan mask container halfway with cold water and set it aside for half an hour at room temperature. Mix two quarts of water with five quarts of potting soil, peat moss, or vermiculite. Combine the two and add another half cup of water to the final mixture. Stir gently until the contents of the container are spread. View this mix to treat the affected regions and plants. Water the soil if it's dry before spreading the mix. Use this treatment at night as nematodes are heat and light sensitive. Do not apply fertilizer to the treated areas for at least two weeks. It can harm the nematodes. You can also keep extra nematodes in the refrigerator for up to a month. This technique can only be used outside and may not be enough to destroy an entire colony of termites. If infestation is affecting the inside of your house, try the termite liquid barrier. If you're interested in a technique that can help get rid of termites inside your home and serve as a preventative measure, a liquid termite barrier will work wonders. It'll cover your house in a chemical barrier that poisons termites upon contact. While it's commonly used around the entire foundation of a house, it may also be applied around specialized wooden buildings, wood heaps, or tree stumps. Because of the poison's transferal effect, there's a good possibility you'll be able to kill the entire termite colony with a single application. Surprisingly, a professional pest control company will definitely use this method to treat your property. Make a solution of termite liquid barrier and one gallon of water. Now dig a 6 by 6 inch deep trench around the foundation of your house. You can also drill a half inch by 18 inch hole every foot or so. This should be approximately 2 inches from the foundation wall. Spray the prepared mix into the trench or holes at a rate of 4 gallons every 10 feet with a high quality sprayer. 
When used properly, this is the most effective termite killing method. The good news is that the barrier may last up to 10 years, saving you lots of money. The swarming season for termites is here. If you cannot do the DIYs, call a professional pest control firm to evaluate the infestation. Let's keep the conversation going with a couple more pest-related videos, shall we? Here's what you need to know. Check out 8 Sure Ways to Permanently Get Rid of Fruit Flies, or how about 7 Natural Ways to Get Rid of Mice Permanently? Go ahead, click one, or better yet, watch both and learn effective ways to make your space insect and pest proof. Have you tried any of these techniques? Are you considering them after watching this video? Let us know in the comments below.